guess it's anything that becomes a huge place where Shall we use the usual approach? And go to the right or go to the left? Well, you, <laughs> it can't go to the left because that's the dreamer, so I guess we'll go to the right. Okay? Okay? Get ready for your answers. someone finds you interesting. Mm -hmm. The line where he says, uh, I think it's funny because that's how I felt about him. Oh, yes. Virginia? I'm still reading. Well, because of the goal in his dream, it to me, it, the, the point at which it looks interesting is, um, well, what looks like a tangent from that, which is so, uh, I, then I go back to check on another couple of friends. That looks like a, a tangent to that goal. Okay. I thought every one of those, if I'm going to have to decide, I would say it's what Julie said, but especially the last line where the guy, Kong, says, is smiling and he's, and he's like, oh, so you're Australian and you like Michael Jackson. And he's like, I'm like Elvis Presley, but yeah. I like what Julie said, Barbara said, and Josh said. <laughs> okay. Choose one. Don? There's a lot of walking and talking, and True. also, uh, who's Kong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kong or man? And what he said. Murray? <clears throat> well, I had a question at just the beginning paragraph of, he says that it looks like we're going to have fun, what makes him comfortable enough and be okay with the fact that it's going to be fun? I'm just wondering what he saw, what, his, what he was thinking. I'm a slow reader. It's okay. Oh, I found another good spot. Where <coughs> he says he might have to explain how he doesn't watch the news. Okay. Um, I've got one. Um, what that's like. The place. <coughs> um, he seems to be letting truth go by under the guise of jokes. Um, what paragraph? Well, it, the. One, two, three, the fourth one? Yeah, go ahead. Um, he says, uh, Kong says you're Australian and you like Michael Jackson. And uh, Elder's like, it's Elvis Presley, but yes, even though it's, you know. Mm -hmm. it's what, Josh? And okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Pick out where his goal is. I saw it. He's interested in connecting with, he's interested in connecting with certain people. Okay. What blocks him from doing it specifically? He hmm. notices something. He notices something. 
Can I, can I play as well? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say anything, though, what do you know? Right. He notices the stuff. He thinks he's helping. He's trying to fit in. Keep my question in mind. What constitutes an answer to that question? Hmm. Is he worried about what other people will think? That's true. Specifically. Now can you get with that? Can you find a specific issue that demonstrates that point clearly? Well, the interaction with Kong and also the interaction at the end about pitching in on a political talk, talking about the woman he went to the beach with and he's worried about seeing, being seen as a player. Those are two examples of worried about how he's going to see, do it proceed. Again. In terms of the things that you would identify, among those things, is there one particular point that you think would be more fruitful than the other? Uh, the player, because uh, that one shows no evidence that he does speak up as a result of okay. that worry. All right. Anyone else? I don't see a goal yet until later. Okay. You're doing, he's doing things, but I don't see what his goal is except that earlier he wants to connect. Right. I really love to connect with them. Uh, and that would be his goal, what follows from that. For the most part, I'm excited and interested. Looks like you have an answer, but you said you didn't. Right. Um, right. Well, I hadn't well, finished the whole thing. I, which one would I listen to? Well, I hadn't finished, but I, I would start with that as his goal. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the only goal I see is that this, that he thinks about mentioning that he had been to the beach and felt the piercing sun underwater, but then he pulls back. That's the only goal I see. In the first paragraph, he talks about having fun. Is that a couple of times? No, second Are paragraph. Are you then abandoning what you said before? Mm, no, it's it's the same line. I, I, well, these your question was different yeah, before. Okay. Judd? But they are the same. Um, in the first paragraph, he says he uh, he's got looks like we're going to have fun. That could be a goal, or it could be that he's going along with other people's goals. I, don't know, I think maybe fun. Well, but that, as the goal at the start. The answer does not fulfill my question, hmm. right? See that? No. Well, that the the question of what is the what is the goal that he has in the dream, or the question what is the block to the goal, or both questions? You said fun. Oh, yeah, I heard that. And um, it says, I don't see that as a goal because it says it looks like we're going to have fun. No, sir. That is so general, too. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That doesn't tell us what his particular goal is. Right. 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 Except I, I see a goal. He says that there are a couple of people there in the go. group who he thinks are really interesting and he would really love to connect with them. Oh, okay. That's, that's, the goal. that's the goal. So, that's yeah. the goal. That's it's what very I think. That's what we said. That right. fulfills the earlier conditions. What blocks him? Specifically, what particular issue does he back away from? Hmm. Well, he's got two places I see. One is that he's. Uh, I, this doesn't connect though. The establishment. I notice that some of the group are leaving some stuff on the countertop, but I don't say anything. But that's, that, I don't, didn't that didn't relate to his goal. But down no. at the bottom, I'm thinking I might have to explain how I don't watch the news. And then I'm thinking about how I went to the beach the other day with this girl. And yes, the sun was very piercing. I think about mentioning that, but I pull back. 
because I'm thinking that I don't want to be playing that game where I try to make myself look like a player. Yeah. Oh, I see. Out of all of that material. Well, he's, he's, he pulls back because he has made a judgment on what he thinks he's going to appear like. Okay. Well, he, it's... I, sorry, Jeff, go right ahead. Go for it. I think it's two things. The last paragraph he draws back because he doesn't want to look a certain way. But then the surprise. He says, I realize that he finds me interesting, which I think is funny because that's how I felt about him. So now I'm surprised that he's more shy than me. Like, he, and then he goes into joking. So I think it's the joking part that, like, takes them away from connecting. It, it leaves it at a okay. superficial level. Like, that's not very interesting to just keep. So among the things that you're describing, <clears throat> that you are not going to do, Right. The last paragraph. Mm -hmm. um, yep, a couple of things there, don't you? Mm -hmm. no, no. Uh, now, I could ask about each one of them, but it's like the one that stands out is that. I'm thinking I might have to explain how I don't watch the news. I'm rather curious, is it not? Yeah. 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 What is that like knowing that? It's like... Well, I, I like to put some words on it. Good, good, good. And I, I think that's the problem. Yeah, why? <laughs> um, why? Yeah. Oh, because... Um, well, because I'm, I'm not... Um, I, I'm in a certain apprehensive mm -hmm. state of mind. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm like... Um, kind of dreading um, the ha having to explain having to explain myself yeah that, that's a curious word you're using which one am I going to pick on dreading? yeah, yeah. that's a curious yeah, right? what's that like? can you put words on Spotlight is going to, the spotlight is going to be on me, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, and what does that do? But it's going to be on me in a bad way, where it's like. Um, I feel like there's there's um, this big gap in between um, the way I live my life and the way that they do, um, so that th th there seems like it's it's going to be a lot, and it's going to be very difficult to explain why I don't watch the news when I why you don't why I don't yeah, yeah. when everybody there does yeah. Yeah. and it's generally accepted yeah. that yeah. 
Uh, did you explain what you meant by dread, or did I miss it? Oh. Um, mm. Like, where does it hit you? Or does it hit you? Like, more physiologically? Any special place? It's very hard to hold on to. It's a, what? It's very hard to hold on to. It's kind of slippery. Yeah, that's okay. But it sure has an effect. Yeah. Uh, it hits me like, like here. Uh, yeah, yeah. As if what? Sounds weird, but the closest thing I can think of is if, if I'm about to fart. Good. good That's what good, it feels good, like. Good. <laughs> it's just like maybe like a sinking feeling. Yeah. Nice. Doesn't quite capture it, but yeah. Say, <laughs> so, you're familiar with that state of mind, aren't you? That dread as understood by these terms. Yeah. 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 I'm going to read them off to you, and will you tell me if you want to add more to them? It's like being a spotlight. It's kind of slippery to describe, but it, it, it's, it's, it, it's it. What's going on is it's like I'm in a bad way, as if uh, I have gas, or it's weird. It's a sinking feeling. You know, somewhat like you know, about to fart. But I, what the situation is, is that they're different than I am, and there's a gap between us, and uh, that does this to me. Would you add to it? I've experienced that state oh. when I want to meet new people. Oh. So you're familiar with that state, right? Yeah. yeah. You're paying quite a price for it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like this weird filter. Yeah, it's a yeah, good word. Uh, right, filter. Say, so if you were uh, to ask yourself, uh, when you experience that as a, earlier in life, I imagine you could pull a couple of scenes up, could you not? It's been around for a long while, you said. Yeah. Yeah. No, any come up for it? There was a th there was a, a I, I went to the I went to the um, to the park with my parents one time. Oh. Uh, maybe six, seven. Good. 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 We were, we were playing soccer, and my parents' friends were there as well, and they were recording. They had a video camera, which was kind of a big deal back then. Um, 
and um, the, the, the there was a my dad's friend recorded me there's a, there's, a, uh, there's some footage of me and I'm like oh, okay. I, I'm like um, kind of I was I was like I was shy or uh, uncomfortable <coughs> being recorded and I kept saying in the recording in the video footage I kept saying um, like complaining to my um, parents I was like mom dad he keeps filming me he keeps filming me this, this, it was like that and um, this video uh, there's been a few times after that happened that my parents would play that video and make fun of me in that video and, uh, they, they, they did that a few times and it was John's really rather really good what do you make of them? What would you? What are they doing? Do you put like a name on it. Do I, what it. What are they doing? Like they're shaming me. It's like they're shaming me. Shame. Uh, what kind of people shame their son? Cruel people? Yeah. What did that show you about that? It was like they were... They were like... It was like... It was like poking a wound. Yeah. It was, it yeah. was really... Yeah. I mean... It, it showed me that they are... really mean and vicious. Yeah. So, uh, what was it like when you, if you can recall it, uh, when you tell your parents, hey, he's, he's filming me, you know, and you must have had some emotion at that time, right? Yeah, I was like close to tears. Maybe I even was crying. Oh, well, yeah, I may even have been crying at that moment. And they're just laughing. And they're laughing. Yeah. And this story has been retold many times uh, later on. It's like a very popular story in my yeah. in, in the household. Yeah. So you're asking you're inviting them to do something about the filming. And they're laughing. And you're crying. Right. And they go on and film it. Right. And they use that as an entertainment. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. It's like I'm I'm like some laughing stock. Yeah. yeah. Say, so, uh, knowing what you know about it in, the, in your reflection right now, you couldn't have said it then, but what ideally what you what should you have said during that scene? Both to the father's friend and the parents. I'd say like what what are you guys doing? Why are you ganging up on me? <coughs> Why are you well, they may have said, because we like to have fun. Does that deal with it? Did your answer to my question... I would say, you, you're being really cruel. You're, you're hurting me. Yeah. Like, s stop, stop hurting me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So is there more going on that scene that you should have included in your statement than what you offered? Yeah, as my response, or yeah, my recollection? Yeah, from what you just said, yeah. Um, like it doesn't include the guy taking the video. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it doesn't include the fact that they're laughing and you're crying. Right. So let's try it again. What, what was ideally what? recording me and like can't, like can't you see that this is hurting me like why do you keep on doing this like I'm your son why are you treating me like this no. No. No, no, no. yeah you're asking them why they're doing what they're doing. Now that's worthwhile. I was wondering what would you tell them, not ask them. Right. Or say to them directly. Even about what they're doing or any like what we can do. there's the scene going on. Okay. There it goes. You could say, you, you guys are being cowards, and you're, 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 you're bullying, to my parents, you're bullying your son, mm. and even though I'm crying, like, you, you, you are like, you're, be, you're being, you're being tyrants. Say, if, uh, and you're letting somebody else uh, make fun of me as well, mm. Mm. without doing anything about it. Uh -huh. yeah, looks like they're what you say they're filming you for what purpose? For their weird entertainment. Yeah, yeah, that's better. <laughs> What's that do? Right, like, stop filming me for your sick entertainment. Yeah. That's it. I mean, it, it makes it, it, it puts it into light even more. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. Uh, absurd it is. So it's not easy to figure out ideally what we should have said in such scenes, right? And you're seeing that there are various answers you could give, but some are more direct and it has a, has a direct influence on you in saying it. Yeah. It's easy to be kind of wishy-washy with yeah, the statement. Yeah, we want to make it. I want to make it yeah. rude. Right, right. <laughs> rude. Direct, <laughs> rude, right? Yeah. Good, good. Uh, sometimes it's worth re being rude. <coughs> I'm learning that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D d and direct, yeah. Yeah, and direct, yeah. <laughs> You're getting there. And yeah. That last answer.
that just makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way, it's just... It made you mad. Yeah. Well, then what are you going to say to them? Oh, man. No, no, no that's sexist. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, women at the same time. Go ahead. Go on. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? That's better. Are you, like, are you... Are you retarded? Like, what are you... Do you still want to ask them? Well, th that's it's not really a question. Uh, but, um... Mm -hmm. uh, 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 like... Um, you guys are being complete monsters. Like... Using using a, a child for your entertainment, it's like. See, but that assumes you're still going to go through it. You're just asking them. You're just grabbing mm -hmm. what they're doing. What do you think of the fact that you went on? I went on it with this show as a star. rather important, isn't it? Like you're yeah, like I didn't uh, walk away or run away. Well, not run away. Hmm. Walk away. After saying what? Hmm. After calling them on their... Well, go ahead and do it. Just door before door. you walk away. Go ahead. What do you want to say before you walk away? <laughs> I want to say, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that, that's pretty good, right? It's, as long yeah. as they understand what it is you're saying with those immortal words. <laughs> yeah. Those are great words, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, What does it mean when you're saying, fuck you, and you walk away? What is it you want to communicate in that, that you could put into words, that's all? Mm. Well, I want to communicate that I think it's cruel what they're doing. True. Sure. Um, I think they're being cowards in doing it.
that yeah, it's true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. Because that's, it was like a cry for help. Yeah. You're, oh, you're yeah, like yeah. wanting them to, yeah. Yeah, I was really saying, you. help, help. Yeah. That's really what I was saying. <coughs> yeah, what do you make of the fact that a dream would capture all of that and just on um, one day? <laughs> Well, I've always said that these are wor waste of time. These days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I, could I ask, um, what are you... I mean, you get a in the dream, it. did you see that you connected? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Kong and I did have some moments of connecting. Um, the if it wasn't for that state, it definitely would have could have gone deeper. Ah. Yeah, but yeah, there was a connection. Mm. So if it wasn't this state you're talking about in the last paragraph, mm -hmm. cool. So on the scale of of connecting, where would you put yourself if it was a one to ten scale? It it was quite high because. Um, I've been wanting to meet Kong for a long time, and I, I think highly of him. And um, that whole build-up, and like, he, even in the dream, it's present that I uh, thought that I think we will get along. I think we might. Uh, hit it off and become friends. That's something that I think now and also in the dream. Um, and the fact that I was right and that we started to connect in that way um, made me really appreciative of the connection that we were having. Um, so there was a lot of... Um, uh, it was quite a, a high state to see that we're starting to connect um, the way that we do. Okay, I'd still like to ask, where would you put... Uh, oh, no, yeah. Let me give you a comparison. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to know where you put the degree that you got, but at the end, if you had not encountered that state, um, where would that have taken you? Hmm. Okay. I would put the um, like the the connecting with him at like I don't know a seven, mm -hmm. but my state of mind was like a ten because I was so happy about connecting with him. Mm -hmm. um, but then it went way down when I started um, filtering what I'm gonna mm -hmm. say and. So I think our connection could have gone way up you know, uh -huh. to, to 10. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So you see the cost of it then? Yeah. Hmm. Say, so are you uh, now doing something curious? <laughs> You're explaining something. <coughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. Mm. I'm laughing because when you said "aren't you," it sounded like a like a criticism. Hmm. No. I know. I know it's not. Yeah, I know yeah, it's yeah. not. But it's funny that it sounded like one. Well, which yeah. takes yeah. us yeah. right uh, back. By the way, uh, <laughs> did this feeling state come up ah. at the time you were th thinking about having to explain why you weren't watching the news? What's similar about this? <coughs> it was like I was in front of that camera. Yeah. It's very, it's, it's very interesting. Yeah. I um.
Um, by the way, would you uh, be on the spotlight? Yeah. It's like I'm gonna um, I'm I'm gonna make a statement. I'm thinking about making a statement, and but I'm fearing the repercussions of the statement. So it's like. I, I'm uh, I'm wanting to show myself, but I'm afraid that there'll be scrutiny afterwards, just like Laughing as that. watching mm -hmm. the video footage. Right, right. It's exactly right. the same. Right. Like, right. Oh, wow. See, so now we have to <coughs> question. Uh, looks like. Uh, <coughs> their laughter in that early scene mm -hmm. occurred in the beginning of the scene when you're crying they're laughing when you're about to be filming the film they're like kind of snickering in the background They're not like laughing loudly, but they're yeah, yeah, yeah. there's there's like a kind of ha, ha, ha yeah, kind of yeah, thing going yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, put the two together then. What, what was your point? I, I forgot it. I just put those two together. Uh, why would having to explain why you are not going to? Why you do not watch news? Oh, yeah. How is that similar to this scene that you just described? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'm I'm about to reveal something about myself. Right. 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 And. Which at that time was very important. You yeah, had soccer, right? Actually, that's very important, especially since my goal is to connect. And what better way is, to, is there to connect than for me to show <coughs> something of myself? Right. Um, right. 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 So. Um, yeah. uh -huh. uh, you mean you think this <coughs> may have? Uh, Implications on when you might find yourself in a scene where you might have to explain philosophy? And dream work to a group? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Looks like we're undercutting that. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like I'm not allowed to. Sh Finish. Show myself. Right, right, right. right. Because pe yeah. people are going to look at a video footage of it and, and laugh right. at it. Yeah. Now, what do you think of it? Th there's an aspect of um, needing to uh, explain myself, mm. um, which I'm wondering whether that happened as well. Um, well, I, I'm. <coughs> Because when, when my parents showed, showed the video to people and yeah, just yeah. to themselves later on, and they're making fun of me, it puts me on the spotlight again in that moment. It's like reliving it. Yeah. And then I'm like in a position of kind of needing to justify myself. Sure. It's like, it's, it's this weird like, So I, I I'm very familiar with that because when I when I need to when I need to show myself I I'm always thinking about I immediately start thinking about how I'm going to need to explain 
justify myself, mm -hmm. justify what I yeah, yeah, yeah. what I said. Right. And actually, that's a very common daydream that I have. Yeah, good. Is um, you know, you know what we're interested in? Whether or not this is going to have some impact on your daydream. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> we're going to be real <coughs> curious about that, aren't we? It fits exactly. Right. It fits exactly. Right. 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 Uh, would you mind getting uh, losing that daydream? Hmm. I would not mind at all. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can I ask you a question about the, that state of mind in that same paragraph that you keep going back to? Can you... In your dream, in the fourth paragraph, when you talk about it, he realizes that he finds me interesting, which I think is funny, because that's how I felt about him. But now I'm surprised that he's more shy than me. Kong and I share a joke. Now, does that compare at all to that state of mind of being filmed, or, or how you understand that being filmed and... Like how they took it, you know, like they think it's funny. Uh, I don't, I don't really see it. Okay. Well, are you, is it something well, specific think that you could point to? Well, they think it's funny when they film you and then they can show it to their friends and they can laugh at you and point mm -hmm. at you and they think it's funny. Mm -hmm. And you've been trying all this time to try to understand that, you know, like how, how do you, how are you supposed to understand that? as a kid, being subjected to that. Today, you've put names on it, you've seen it, what it for what it is, right? And now, perhaps you can see that you've incorporated that way of being. Like the dream is sho showing you how to recognize that um, kind of twisted humor like that. That isn't funny, right? It, it isn't funny what they did to you. It wasn't funny, it wasn't really funny ever. But people laughed at it. What? That state of, I just thought that state of mind in the dream was pretty, okay. it's twisted, it's not, right? If you look at it and structure that out, it doesn't really make sense as it is. It's like there, you have to, you have to unpack that, like, in your own terms, like what that is to be funny. What is funny? Are you pointing to something specific? Yes, yes. That same sentence, I realize he finds me interesting when I think, which I think is funny, because that's how I felt about him. Well, I thought it was, it was uh, amusing or kind of ironic that I, um, that I was nervous about meeting him, and now he's nervous. <laughs> How do you know he's nervous when he finds you interesting? See, that's because he's being, he's kind of being shy. He's like, um, he's a little bit like reserved, a little bit hesitant. Okay, I could be, I'm way off, I could be way off. It's happened before. <laughs> Appreciate the question. It's your, yeah, because I... Okay. But a lot well, of us thought, a lot of us found that sentence interesting as we went around the room and explored our own, what we were drawn to in the dream was that, that state of mind. I was also, thinking, I would point out that, to um, you know, you're crying in the scene, showing your feelings, and they're just being overlooked. Mm -hmm. the, feelings aren't. Sure was. the feelings are like the, 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 the subject of laughter. You yeah. shouldn't have to explain your feelings, you, it's obvious. Hmm. And so in this next line here, well, now you think about being at the beach with the girl and the sun was very piercing, so again you're having some intense feelings and you hold back from mentioning them. Yeah. It's like your, your parents overlooking your feelings and you're overlooking your own feelings here too. Um, Except that, talk about the difference uh, between explaining that you don't watch the news and talking about the girl and the son. Because I'd like to, because I think there's a, a, that's a major shift. That's mm -hmm. a theory. That's why I'm asking you. 
um, what's the difference between talking, explaining the one and talking about the other? For one thing, he calls it an appearance, right? That he would be playing a game where he tries to look like a player, player. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, that's his interpretation of his explanation. Yeah, but it might be in the dream, if so. Well, it is. I don't know if I can make a distinction. It's very, they're very similar states. Interesting. Well, in the, if you were to explain that, would you be, is that related to the topic at hand? If I was to explain the difference? No, if you were to explain, if you were to talk about the beach with the girl and the sun piercing, even when I was swimming in water, right? That stuff. Is that... What relationship does that bear, or is that a tangent to the conversation? No, it's, they're, they're, they're very much um, the same problem. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Yeah, that's what I was yeah, uh, earlier. It's, it's interesting. It's good, I want to see it. Quite a, I think it's very subtle. Huh? I think it's very subtle. Yeah. But, yes. see, among, among his statements in terms of his goals, mm -hmm. um, yeah. is the language that he's using, does it show a, a more fundamental problem showing itself? in the one case versus the other. That's mm -hmm. the issue. So mm. Yeah, it does. Uh, see, the question in terms of the wine free would be, both could be explored. Mm -hmm. But if the explaining why I didn't watch news was ignored, would it pull up something different? That's the issue. So mm -hmm. check, you know, formally, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's mm -hmm. the issue for my wife. Or put it another way, if he ignored this scene where he's required to explain why he doesn't watch the news, let's say he dropped that out, mm -hmm. right, could we have gotten the same thing in every way, with every point? Mm. Or is there something about the explaining the news episode that more, went more directly to the heart of the problem among hierarchies. Oh, that's good. See, that's good way to I think pose it. it. I think I, I can see a, 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 a bit of a difference there. The the um, the news explaining the news. Uh, what, what I see first is that both of the things I didn't say um, would have improved my connection with Kong because the the news uh, I would have um, shared something about myself which is fundamental to me which is I don't I don't watch the news um, and then uh, the other one would have connected me with Kong because um Kong is also somebody that enjoys meeting women and um, it would have kind of put us on the same I don't know, frequency and we can now talk about girls. <laughs> um, See, but the one scene lacked <coughs> is your perception that the way you put it, which was so well in other pieces of paper, the same. The other one, underneath it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. So, the gap, as you described it. Okay. 
Oh. That you saw that if you that there is a gap between where you were you were in respect to your understanding of your viewpoint and <coughs> your audience. Mm -hmm. right, that played a, an important part. Yeah. Okay. That's um, I think it's that wouldn't be present with the swimmer. I, I was gonna say I think yeah. it is a present with the other one as well. Yes. Not not as much. Not as much. That's but right. it is also there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I see. They're very similar. Yeah. Right? But if you have to make a judgment in terms of how you're going to decide, why mm -hmm. would one appear to be have an advantage the other doesn't have? So the question would be, what's the difference in explaining yourself and your whatever is involved with the women and the swimming versus the people in general about the, why you're not watching news? Mm -hmm. So similar dynamics, but some difference. Yeah, I would um, I would say it's almost the same because. If it, um, because if it came to explaining the, the second one, mm -hmm. if somebody asked, oh, was that your girlfriend? Then that would also lead to a point where there would be a gap between me and them because, uh, she, because she's not my girlfriend. It's like a casual relationship. Well, then it doesn't have that gap. No, but it does because of... Well, it's a lower, on the lower end. It's a, it's a smaller gap. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a smaller, smaller gap. gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought you also mentioned the other F word. It was actually <laughs> Pierre that brought it up. You know that F-I-L-O-S-O-P-H-Y? Oh. Oh, yeah. Right, I thought Pierre mentioned that one. And mentioned that it might come in when you were explaining why you don't watch television, news. Yeah, that would be implicated. Implicated. Yeah. Hmm. So, so Barbara, are you... Are I you, mean, it would, it would draw attention to the kind of person I am. Yes! Because, I mean, oh my God! Who doesn't watch oh. the news? <laughs> really? No, but who, who doesn't watch the news? the kind of person you are, is there a greater gap between that and the girlfriend issue? Girlfriend, no girlfriend issue? It's, uh, I, I don't know. It's hard to measure, but it's, really? a, it's a bigger gap. It's a bigger gap. Okay. <laughs> there's, well, more, it, there's more to it. Yeah, well, if I had to explain the two, for example, yeah. my interest in self, my interest in dream work, my interest in midwifery, to an audience of people who... Uh, well, they might be <laughs> musicians and artists and otherwise. There might be a very big gap between that and explaining how I chat someone up at a bar or something, you know? That's a good point. Is that fair? I yeah, don't that's know. fair. Uh -huh. that's Although, good. You're, you see, the interesting thing is that sun thing is linked into the conversation about, in a way, global warming. And news, right? Is it for you? Uh, yeah, but what's what's that point? Well, I mean, then you'd be joining the conversation, wouldn't you? <coughs> yeah, yeah. In both cases, I would be joining the conversation. Yeah, uh -huh. but the other one might get you booted out on your ear. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. faster. <laughs> or open them up. But Kong wouldn't paper. kick you out for the girlfriend and the yada yada, or, would he? Yeah. Or worse yet, it would make me connect with somebody. Oh my God! Really? Yes. <laughs> we can't have that. None of that. Not just, None of that. Not just joking, but meaningfully connect. Yes, meaningfully. Or maybe they would have to come out and connect with you. So you notice something about this dream also is that there is sufficient detail and sequence mm. of events that also include states of mind. Hmm. And you've carefully 
added as much as you could recall so that it's a continuous story. Mm -hmm. And that's a very fine way to present it. Mm -hmm. Because then you can open up different aspects of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Though I didn't see it that way when I was recording it. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't have had the dream. Yeah, you put it together. Yeah. yeah it's, refl it's called reflection. It's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of fun, too, where he says, oh, you like Michael Jackson, and you say, I'm like Elvis Presley, right? You take it to a... No, 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 no it, it's not like, whoa. I was like, what it says is, I'm like, Elvis Presley, but yeah, that's, that's, you can replace, I'm like, with Elba says. Yeah. It's not part of the quote. It's the, it's the teenage comma, like, comma. You laughed. Oh, I'm li I'm like. I cut you off when think? you laughed. You laughed when you made this point, didn't you? Oh, I, I don't remember. Well, say it again. Watch. Okay, I like how you. He says you like Michael Jackson, and you change it to I am like Elvis Presley. So you you take it. It's a play of words I'm like. You take it to a more analogical level. Well, that's not what I said. That's not what you said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is more valley talk or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Valley, valley talk, speak. yeah. Oh, okay. Like, like <laughs> do you get me, Joe? Like, like, come on. Like, like come on. Okay. No, no, it's like, like we, were, we were talking, and then she was like, she was like, oh, I love the way you love me. Okay. Like, okay. Like, oh, <laughs> the question would be whether or not that distinction plays a, a central role in the whole dream, another aspect of the same thing. So, you found that amusing. Don't stop with amusing. Oh, interesting. Right? Like, how does that reflect another? Uh, yeah. It's simply another level of the same theme repeating <coughs> Can you help the dreamer see that? Hmm. See, convert that. What do you think of that comparison? Yeah, yeah. Good. Talk about it. What comparison are you talking about? Elvis Presley and Michael. In that statement. Well, he doesn't. He didn't. Um, he mistakenly thought that it was Michael Jackson. Right. But it was actually an Elvis Presley song. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what, what are you seeing there for at that moment? That he doesn't know that song. Uh, You're seeing something about the people who are there. Yeah. Started the discussion by saying there was a gap between where you were and where they were. Yeah, like maybe they're not as quick-witted or something like yeah. that. Right. right. So that adds to the thesis that you have, mm. that your perception of the group you're with. Right. It's a gap between where they are and where I am, mm. and that exchange yeah. gives evidence of the same that, thing. That opens another can right. of worms. Right. Mm. That opens another can of worms, which yeah. is um, the people that I'm spending my time with are... Ouch. There's, 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 there's too much of a gap. <laughs> oh, what? What did you say? It's too much of a gap. They don't yeah. know their music if they're mistaking Michael Jackson with Elvis Presley. Yeah. yeah I, I even did it like Elvis. I was like, a little less pepper, a little more. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he thought it was there Michael Jackson. There you go. See, so you were very winning. See, so it opens up. See, so yeah. convert yeah. what you see, what you find interesting, and go back into mm. the drama of the dream and see how it adds to some of the things that have been mentioned. And you'll see every piece does that. Mm. Wow. So if, yeah, one more thing he's willing to go along with, too. Like, he wasn't willing to correct his friend really strongly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you did yeah. tell him, though. You did correct it, though. Yeah. Also throughout, his, like in the next paragraph, 
uh, talking <coughs> politics, and somebody talks about the IRS, and then I ask what those agencies are, and they explain it kind of jokingly. The issue, the, the idea of joking is really spread throughout this whole thing. People respond jokingly. Say, would you uh, get them to read the first sentence? So yeah. I, I have to use the restroom. The first time. Right, he's making a joke, right? Don't leave, this is the best part. Hey, right in the first sentence, what do you say? Um, um, the whole thing? Yeah. I'm walking into a bar with some friends? Or a no, bar? that's it. That's all you need. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like the beginning of most jokes. And these are supposed to be friends. Well, if we're looking, <laughs> you, yeah, okay. If we're looking for more evidence about the significance of a high, low, and the gap, it starts out with what? Equal, kind of, isn't it? Yeah. I'm walking into the bar with some friends. But yeah. The gap, they're going it for all a low. depends yeah. upon how he views the friends. True. And the story involves mm. those friends. Yes. And yes. he sees those friends as higher or lower. Lower. See? So even the first sentence yeah. contains mm. the same dynamics. Mm. There was one question I had, which I don't know mm. if it plays into this. Uh, we could ask my all audience back, I guess. But I noticed that the keys and other things that went on the counter he held off on mentioning, um, and he gave a because for it, I can't remember. But then we later... They were going to come back to him. Was that the reason? Yeah. But then later, the Gandhi's sister comes back in with her friend, and he does tell her about the same cues. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in why would you not tell him, but you told her. Mm. Is there a difference that can be unpacked from that? Say, um, there is some discussion about what do you make of that opening first line? I'm walking into a bar with some friends. That's it. Uh, this whole thing is a description of the friends, stuff, isn't it? Yeah. What's that uh, like in the dream? It's really nice to be out with my buddies. We're inter we are interested in the issue of the gap. Yeah. Because of all places to have talks, one of the best of all possible <laughs> places is a bar. <laughs> Well, it was... It I don't think so. <coughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> well, let me check with my drink. Oh, here. colleague, okay. Hmm? Well, it was it was like a very casual kind of get-together. At a very uh, significant place, though. That's just made for talking. No, not no? really. No? Or even connected. Just find that curious. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. Um, we had a we had a decent table, and it was fairly. We're talking about states of mind. Which which one? I. I'm walking into a bar. A with friends into a bar. It's. But here, let me read it because you probably don't read well. I was walking with some philosophical friends into one of the most comfortable places for talking on Huntington Beach. We're talking as we're walking. Uh, does that make any difference? Yeah. What? Why would that make a difference? They are not very philosophical friends. Oh. I'm hoping that one or two of them, maybe... See, he's hoping that one or two of them, <coughs> out of the many, 
Yeah. Yeah. That puts a different quality on connect then, does it? So we're pointing out that wherever you go in the dream, you'll find a way in which you can relate it to the theme of the dream, which is why we were doing this. So I just happened to notice the first sentence. It's it's the perfect um, kind of crowd for me to have this problem in. (laughs) 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 Or when he says that. Then whatever whatever frame this dream's got a pretty bit good skill. Yeah. Pick the right people. Everything is. Everything fits. Well, so, frame the here's to the Dream Master. Here's to the Dream Master. <laughs> dream <laughs> Master. And you know, you are quite funny. <laughs> uh, are the, you write funny materials. Thank are, you. Are the couple of people in the group who you think are really mm-hmm. interesting, are they the ones, Kona, and are they different? It's Kong, yeah. It is Kong in the one that... Yeah, I thought there was two at the beginning, but later it's just Kong. Okay. Phones are ringing. I think it's Peter. So it's not, uh, they weren't different people. There was only one at the end. No, I meant at that moment when you said, uh, and also because there are a couple of people in the group who I think are really interesting. Oh, yeah. And that's the same as Kong is one of the two. And the other one? (laughs) I don't know what happened to the other ones. I don't even know if they were there or... So... (coughs) What does it look like in terms of the idea of connecting them? I would really love to connect (coughs) with them after this exploration. Now, is she done? Sorry? Is she done? No. Oh. No, but I don't. I didn't get that question. <coughs> well, uh, when you say I really love to connect with them, is there some? What is it that you wanted to do when you wanted to connect in a bar with friends? What was your... The feeling state? Or the state of mind is. Mm-hmm. I would really I would like to connect with the meaning what? I wanted to... Um, I was hoping to find somebody like me. Right. I was hoping that Kong or this other person that I don't know who they are um, would be close to that, close to me. And you were presented with that option to discover whether he was close to you or not. Yeah, we started connecting, um, and then the drama happened, the state of mm-hmm. mind came in. So at this point, you're not sure whether he would connect. Just say that louder. At this point, because he pulled back, or he, <coughs> you're not sure whether he would connect. <coughs> That's right. Uh, <coughs> it's not See, it's not concluded and also the fact that it's in a bar so you, you are you are revealing a problem and then ignoring it what? he said you are revealing a problem and then ignoring it he's a or I am Pierce to him, to Elton. Mm. Maybe. What is it? I don't know. I just asked. What no, is that? 
There was there was something, but I don't remember now. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Do you remember your la your answer to Regina's question? That. Um, I started connecting with Kong. Half. Um, You're seeking to connect with people like yourself. Oh yeah, that was mm -hmm. that was that was important. Right. Yeah. That's the issue. That's the. Mm -hmm. Is that not the fundamental problem in the dream? Mm -hmm. That yeah. you are mm -hmm. looking for people like yourself in a place where you are most likely to discover it. No. no. Oh, good heavens. Least, less. There's some chance, but there is some chance. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. the ideal. Place. Yeah. <laughs> right. So going back to the issue see, of gap, when you get that kind of information, use it. Right. right. Go back to the back. What's behind it? How do you see? What does that? Do? What does this observation do? Well, it's. Um, it highlights, especially when I put the word self in there. Yeah. <laughs> it highlights That's it. what's going on. Um, whoa. Um, I always think of it like part to whole. Mm. Do, doing dream analysis is. You get a new part and then you apply it to the whole. And then you get a new part and then you apply it to that's the right. whole. That's right. That's right. You keep that's doing right. that. That's right. And it becomes more and more rich. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, is it true? Yeah. That you are, did you find yourself looking for people like yourself? Yes. With, uh, with a group <laughs> yeah. that is not likely to appreciate. You, you don't even have to finish that sentence. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you look at that's taking a point, see, and then always bring it back to the issue, mm. see, then you can tie it together better. Yeah, actually recently I've been wondering, where are the people, where are the good people? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. Where, where other than <laughs> sorry, you mean R present company other than, accepted. Other, present, oh, other than this place. Like. If you All find right. them, let okay. us know. I have a question, one more question. Oh I'm struck by the last line and struck by the videoing that your parents did of you. Were you dressed in a soccer outfit? Uh, I don't know. No. It's just regular. Okay. What, what was your question? Because I was one. Because I, it's like whether I was dressed in a soccer outfit. Well, Pardon? the last line is that you don't want. She to asked if I was dressed in a soccer outfit mm. in the video, like a player. Yeah. Yeah, like a player. Um, did you go on to play soccer after that? Uh, here and there, okay. nothing, nothing major. So, uh, so I wonder what this last line means. You're thinking. Um, about mentioning feeling the piercing sun, but you pull back because you're thinking, I don't want to be playing the game where I try to make myself look like a player. Well, what does that mean that, in the dream? That's, um, it's, it's, it's an insight I had uh, recently that sometimes I will try to present myself in a way that makes me look like a ladies' man. <laughs> oh. Th that's what player means. So, oh. So, what point did Julie make and drop that's Ooh. significant? Possibly the first one. That's right. Right? Yeah. But you don't say it. Yeah. Okay. Right? And then... Hold it. What was it? Okay. What do you make of that? Hmm. She doesn't value her own. You can't push the implications can't push of what the she sees. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yep. So this is the here. second time. Uh, Earlier. Well, than the first point was <coughs> Regina raised a point and mm -hmm. dropped it. I meant the one that she made early, or about the laughing and joking. Remember? Anyway. That was ahead. another one. Yeah. 
Right. The one that you just raised is yes. certainly worth it. Yes, because it's going. right on mark on target. It has yeah. a framework that the implications could be explored. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, as long as you yeah. Know. As long as. Well, the, I you said you, you said enough, but you need to say more about it. Hmm. And I caution you before maybe you're still under that. Yes, caution. I am. Yeah. No, no. Now, if you want to state it fully, what would you? How would you put it? Well, that Julie was drawing a parallel between the film that the parents made, the soccer, the fact that he gave it up, and the. No, 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 no freeze. Well, that's no, what came, emerged from the conversation. Yes, yeah, that's right. It, it raised the question: oh. What is the effect that this yes. drama had? on his interest in love on soccer. Yes. Yes, sorry. And right, his right. answer right. was it modified it. Yeah. Dampened Only that it. wasn't his words. Yeah. Uh, here yeah. and there. I played here and there. I never really I got see, into I it. played here and there. I never really got into it. Right. 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 That would be the implications of that. Of what she uncovered. Yes. Right. But dropped it. But dropped. Right, so we're taking the implications of it and bringing it back. Yeah, you are. Right. Huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, whatever you see is worthwhile seeing. Yeah. And then take the implications of it in terms of the dream. Right? You wanna, is, is, that, is that a principle in mathematics? Whatever you <laughs> see... There's implications of it? Yeah. Is it likely some people can solve a problem uniquely but not see the implications of it generally? Oh, yeah. Yeah? They could even come back to the same type of question yeah. and not yeah. see the same principle yeah. in that same type yeah. of question. Yeah. Because the problem isn't the seeing the moment. The problem is what's stopping them from seeing. Yeah. It, Again. It's, it's... See... This last point now we can push, see, we can say, by the way, uh, is it possible that they may have done the same thing with other areas of expertise that you were showing and they equally belittled that? And is that their modus operandi? Is that the way in which they relate from that point on? Yeah, that's a good, good question. So, hey, by the way, um, <clears throat> they ever laugh at other things you do? Laugh in the sense of push down? Yeah. And what happened with those things? Did you equally lose interest in them? Yeah. See, now we're extending that idea mm -hmm. to the implications on his whole mm -hmm. life, you see. Mm -hmm. So this whole uh, making fun of and ridiculing yeah. is a major way of putting things down right. in the family. That brings the ch hey, that brings you or the child to give up. To pull back. No longer fully functioning as they were before. So, uh -huh. so it's like a very powerful tool. Yeah, that isn't it? Because it's, it has a, um, it has leverage. Because, yeah. because I, doesn't it? Because of all this yeah. Yeah. history mm. with ridicule. Yeah. Mm. See, now you're relating the ridicule mm. in general. Where else did it go? Maybe I can conclude in general about their pattern. What are we doing now? Mm. Raising the level it more general. Yeah, now bringing it on a higher level. So Is that an invitation to midwifery, passing? Sure, that does, sure. <coughs> Each one of them would be a passing, and mm. then you, the more detail you get out of it, the more you're secure in your judgment, like, yeah, that's what went on. You always wanted 
make sure you have enough detail so that it can be seen in detail because that's giving evidence that the conclusion is sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I ask a question about the, the beach scene? Like you guys may have covered it, uh, but even though the reluctance to talk about the news and come out that way about yourself was the primary one, the one that had a more fundamental uh, ability to go at the core problem, we did agree that there was a secondary aspect. Uh, what did that add, even though it was secondary, it was a secondary example, the Dream Master included it. What aspect did that add to the problem that the core one did not cover as well? Mm -hmm. Are you asking? Hold on. I guess it's it's open. What can you answer? Um, I'm on it. Yeah. It's, it's it's kind of hard to hold on to the two conclusions and then compare what. Good sign that it's time to talk about something else. <laughs> I think you did say, though, that it was less of a gap and that uh, it would fit into what Kona generally talks about, and it wasn't revealing where he was at, which would have been philosophy and something that came from yourself. You were more interested in whether there were other people like yourself or looking for somebody. What, what it what it did. One thing it did do is it it, um, it kind of put this uh, this player thing under an umbrella, <laughs> like uh, it's like a sub problem of this greater problem. So I can I, I have a place for it now. Wow. But how is it how is it qualitatively different? What aspect does it bring up? Maybe under the same umbrella in different ways. What's the different ways? Well, I mean, for one thing, it involves um, it involves women, which is an aspect that okay. isn't in the other one. Um, it shows, you know, that it's that it's in many places. Is the play in the game idea adding something? I, I don't know what else to say. It's well, except that you you don't want to look <coughs> like a player. You go, you want to you don't want to be playing that game where I try to make myself look like a player, which reminds me of the parents videoing you. They're they're making it. They're they're videoing you playing soccer, but. You don't really look like a soccer player, but yet it's kind they, of a they bring it out in the future, later on, like you're playing soccer, or it's kind of a joke or something. I I just saw something uh, when you were talking. Is that um, make my uh, slippery? <laughs> but but I pull back because I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 Time to explain what you mean by play on. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think the word player is um, is a put down. Um, oh, that's not what do you mean? Maybe it's your language. What do you mean? 
So I don't want to make myself look like a player. It's it's the it's this um, other problem we explored about bragging. In my family, the the worst it's really bad to brag, and whenever you're good at something, um, you're accused of bragging. And this is. Um, uh, by the way, what does that mean? <coughs> what does that mean? Um, yeah, what does that mean? That's. It's like a. It's like a, a false humility. It's like uh, pretending to be. Yeah. Yeah. What does that do to the excellence you then are showing? <coughs> It, it, it doesn't allow me to express it oh. because there's some kind of standard for uh, what you're allowed to show. Oh, like you, ha you have to be average. That's the. Oh, does that fit with what you've been saying? Yeah, I must have been uh, doing some you really mean, good. Are you suggesting that all of this is to try to make you average? <clears throat> and avoid any excellence? Yes, because there's always a camera watching and yeah, yeah. and if I if and I, if you ever say anything good about yourself or what you're doing. Then then I'm bra <clears throat> then I'm bragging. Mm. And then, you know, they'll make fun of me. Yeah, that's Come way down there, there, isn't it? Yeah. Same. They have a right to make fun of you. Yeah. Does that fit the theme of the, the dream? Is that what they're doing? Is that what they're hammering home on you when you're seven years old with that camera trick? Yeah. Well, I'll be trying. I must have done really well yeah. with, this, <laughs> with the soccer. Find that curious? It fits. It fits. <laughs> I took what Julie said. She didn't push the implications of it. I took it and pushed the implications of it. Right? Mm -hmm. She picks up nice things. I push the implications. She gives them up. Mm -hmm. Hey, anything you see is significant. <laughs> Wake up. Anything you see is significant. Pull it back into it. Draw the implications. Well, she at least spoke up. She said it, at least out loud, in a meeting. She didn't just go home and fold the paper and have that thought mm. and not bring it up, right? Did I do something different with it? Well, yes. That's the point, see, always. Yeah. <coughs> Step two. Right, yes. Right, you want to weave. You want to weave insights that someone is using and takes it. Take that insight and put it back into it so you can see its implications in the whole so you can make conclusions about it that will help the dreamer. So. Well, he, you raised an interesting consequence to bragging or speaking about your excellence, which was that you... Can you talk more about that? Just to be sure that I heard it. Um, bragging. <laughs> Here's the definition. <laughs> Uh, bragging is <laughs> it's like like if, if, if I'm with my parents and there's somebody showing excellence um, like let's say for example there's a a tall, handsome man that walks past, well dressed. They'll say like, they'll say like, oh look at that guy. Thinks he's all that. <coughs> look at him, like look at him bragging. Hmm. So it's uh, that's sure. that's there's a bad label put on hmm. something beautiful, something excellent, which that's is cool. under this yeah. weird uh, false humility called bragging. Yeah. What what happens if it's then? applied to you in your pursuit of excellence? Great question. When I have an insight when I'm reading, um, I have a daydream 
which is me explaining myself to somebody um, about that insight, mm -hmm. like justifying, mm -hmm. like justifying myself about it. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what justifying is? Justifying yourself. Well, it's it's the it's the um, the news thing. Um, if I if I say this, then um, there's going to be a gap, and there's going to be uh, I'm going to be in the spotlight being questioned about that uh, that thing I did, and then. <laughs> so, do you think there's any sentence in that uh, dream of yours that you can't relate to the whole? That I can't relate to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that a challenge? <laughs> well, no, I, I just I'm did just something at random and I hit one sentence. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so uh, it's in the third paragraph, concluding two sentences. So then. I'm leading them to where the rest of the group is, which is kind of a back room of the place. It's like kind of a back room of the place, in this bar. That's probably the most luxurious place ideal for discussion. In a bar. Well, in that place, it's the best that we have available. For what? Um, a bit, a bit of, a bit of privacy, a bit of privacy. So, in the yeah. best place that you can find, you find this is going on. So you're creating the best conditions for real communications, but finish it. But the group finish it. But the, since the group are all, hell, I'll read it for you. <clears throat> so then I'm leading them to where the rest of the group is, which is kind of the back room of the place. And it's really fine to be able to sit around a bunch of philosophers and talk. So it's like I'm, do, I'm doing my best with setting the conditions, but right. the the people are average. No, not up to. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, just right, just go. I said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't matter. I'd be interested in the uh, as we're leaving the foyer, moving inside. And you, the group, are leaving some stuff on the countertop. How would that fit? But I don't say anything because I figure they'll come back <coughs> for it. With I don't think. But I don't say anything because I figure they'll come back for it. It'll be fine. Uh, I see the. I noticed them leaving the keys behind. And I, I have the, the option of saying something, but I don't know why, I just kind of... What does it mean you're leaving them behind? The, the keys? No, I don't know, just whatever reference that was made. Well, it's I, it, I can I can definitely see it as a, a slip in integrity. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. ideally, ideally, I would you know say, <coughs> hey, you forgot you forgot your keys. Um, so it fits in, makes sense, adds another element. 
Yeah. Yeah. So that's a dream. Mm -hmm. Right. Like there is no metaphor, there is no no statement in a dream that is cosmetic in the sense that it doesn't have a meaningful connection with the whole. Yeah. It's it's so like a um, like a what do you call it? A picture puzzle. No. Um, when when like a piece of concrete cracks and the the little mm -hmm. cracks, like it goes everywhere Rackle. into my life. Yeah. Like I I never mm -hmm. got into soccer as much as I wanted to. Um, After that. I have a, I have a weird problem with cameras. <laughs> oh really? I couldn't <laughs> have guessed that. <laughs> couldn't have guessed that. Yeah. And uh, what about with music? Being watched with music. Yeah. Is like um, if I'm all by myself and I know that nobody can hear or see me, I do very well. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. what it did. But yeah. nobody knows about how well I do. See, that's what it did. Because that was it. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. He's one of us. And in every way, they're doing everything they can to hammer home that goal. Thanks for coming to Human. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm sorry, how did the not, uh, um, this last point, uh, how did the not telling them about leaving things on the countertop play into the um, theme of not showing yourself, not operating at a more excellent level? I, I missed that. Well, it's, it's kind of like, I mean, I saw somebody forget their keys on a, in a place where it could be stolen or displaced, whatever. And ideally, I would say, hey, you forgot your thing. But for some reason, I was like, ah, they'll come back for it. Right. Which, it would have been better if I just said, hey, you forgot your, your keys. Well, yeah, we see that, but how did that play into the... Like, what, what, I guess maybe it, I'm not asking the question well. Um, What kind of excellence would that be? It's just like, I don't know, integrity? Yeah. How would that involve your showing yourself? Or your operating at a more... Because it's like, it's like, um, you know, you can show yourself by playing a beautiful piece on the piano, but then you also can show yourself everywhere else. Like, I don't know, the way that you have a posture, the way that you hold the cup. You, like, you can show excellence in everything. And that's just one, like, minor little um, point where, you know, it would have been better if I had said... How about, um, how about caring? Okay. Does that ring any bells? Out, yeah, up, does it ring any bells? Get up, get caring. Up, get up, get up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could, I could go along with. Yeah. It would be more caring <coughs> if I had um, reminded them right there rather than later. But it sounds like you're introducing a maybe a state that's not in the paradigm. Either. And so while he's saying he could use that word, I'm wondering what brought. That. Thank you. I'm just giving it a shot, and it doesn't have to be that. I'm not trying to introduce it. I'm just uh, curious. I still want to. If it's not caring, it can be something else. I, I don't see any uh, reason why I can't use that word, caring. Yeah. So okay. it's, it's. I mean, it's a. I just, I just want to make the logos connect. I think between uh, that particular example and the main theme of. Uh, things holding you back from your own excellence. Um, because I think you were out, but I, I had, it's kind of piggybacked on another question, which is uh, just a few more lines down. You do bring up with Jennifer that the keys are there. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference, in, but they're not her keys, they're her brother's keys. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference in operating being contrasted there. And if, and I, I, I like how we have spent more time on this dream than we usually do, 
giving these examples that Pierre is pointing to, like, it doesn't matter where you throw the dart, it's going to come up with the same theme. And for me, I'd like to tie those in. I think that would be kind of fun to see how those, those two, that contrast between those two ways of functioning still reflects back on the main theme. Of, I'm not I don't know how to proceed. I don't know the right question. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe Pierre or somebody yeah. else. Oh, Pierre, doesn't, didn't Pierre and you talk about that one of the major themes was the high-low? Right, you're, you're, mm -hmm. so can we talk in that sense about your seeing versus the seeing of the others? That's a jump, okay. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. right? The two scenes that Jeff mentioned? No, no, seeing, your seeing yeah. versus, versus the others, because they left those things behind. Oh, the other people? Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, okay, okay, that, that ties it in with what we're talking about, okay. which is, um, with the logos of the dream, which is that um, uh, my my seeing is higher than theirs, and mm -hmm. that fits into the theme of uh, there's a gap between us. So then, why then? I guess that I like that. So then, that maybe feel makes me feel like I, it gets us one step closer to the question of the contrast then. <laughs> Why um, is your seeing, in the first case, uh, stopping you, your, your uh, better level of seeing, but in the second case, not? What's maybe, maybe the other way I could ask it is, what's different in, uh, between in the, and Gandhi? In the second uh, part, I realized that Gandhi's not going to come back. <laughs> he's, he's left his kids. So mm -hmm. I tell Jennifer. Like now, it's, it's crucial that I tell Jennifer. Mm -hmm. That's 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 the difference. Interesting. So are you saying that you didn't tell the original person, Gandhi? No, I. Oh. I uh, so then, like I thought, we, we're still kind of we're still kind of floating around the entrance of the of the bar. We haven't really. Um, we're not anywhere. We're like in between, and I thought maybe he'll he'll uh, he still might pick it up, but then. We went into the back room, and then I went back to get Jennifer and Marlon, and then I saw the keys were have been left. So then, what is the dream telling you about the, the with what is the dream telling you with that contrast? Um, what what it took to get you to to, to say something was for it to be more. Um, more of a crucial, critical situation rather than a lesser. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's a good point. It's, yeah. it's like don't wait for it to go bad until you do something about it. Interesting. Now, which paragraph are you talking about specifically? The the third that one. Yeah. The beginning of the third. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. By the way, uh, isn't it nice that we excluded the uh, underwater swimming event? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> huh? Not necessarily. What do you mean? I didn't exclude it. I mean, he is. He does have an explanation, doesn't he? Mm hmm. He does have additional evidence that they don't have. Yes. Yes. And it's very interesting that it's the sun being piercing. Yes. That's very See? interesting too. Mm. So he's gaining more data that he could e use to explain something. But yes. what does he do? Holds uh, back. Holds back. That's right. On interesting grounds, there considering, it is. See? right? Yeah. Mm. So the dream See? even gives that kind of taste where he's talking about a, a girl and swimming. And he can use that to show the same issue on this level, mm -hmm. which is not only explaining something, but he has personal evidence to support something, mm -hmm. and holds back. 
and holds back. The these um, episodes, these daydreams of um, thinking about explaining something are always very detailed explanations. And sometimes the daydream will go on for quite a while with me kind of sculpting the explanation to make it more to make it better. The, the, it's, it's kind of an interesting... Uh, does it make it better? Or would it be better to hit it more uh, more critical points to make your point? Now, see the issue now we're talking about what does it mean to explain? Mm. Okay, now we have a new issue. Because so. yeah. we have enough examples now to talk about it. Take that one with this in the swimming. Notice what you're adding to explaining your own personal experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But even back. under Are swimming under the water, the sun is so piercing. See, so that's your data, personal data. It's pretty good. Pretty good data. Yeah. yeah. Better than it is. Yeah. Good point. Like how much have we been talking about is also there. You're ringing. Sir? I don't, I don't get the question. I'm just saying, could we apply that section dealing with swimming to the whole of the dream? Mm. There's explaining. There's holding back. Right? Not only are you now giving a theoretical view of why you don't listen or watch the news, but now it, you're adding to it your own experience, adding to what is said about whether or not this is hot or hotter. You're adding a new level to it. Hey, I can even tell you what it's like when you're swimming under a fire. And if, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you say there's a degree of put down in that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Relegates it all to uh, yeah. the appearance of being a player right. rather right. than. I was, that should have probably no, been no, thank you. Western. Thank you. But, right? No, it, uh, no. Okay. that's. Um, yeah, it is, it is put down. The player thing is a. Yeah. Diminishes all the explanation. Thank you, sir. Fun. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. That's it? One drink? Well, it's about 30. Well, it's three hours. Oh, wow. Fast. <laughs> by the way, uh, what did you mean by that? By what? What you just said? I thought there were two people or three people who had dreams today, and I didn't know it was 12.30. Oh. He didn't say that. That's true. Yeah. Try doing it. Wouldn't it would it be better to say that the whole? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think it matters. Well, I think it gives an explanation for the comment that is useful myself because at first it's like it sounds kind of like a put down but that's yeah. me maybe yeah. it sounds like a put down and the other yeah. way is like it sounds like you want to benefit the group yeah. by revealing More reflective something. includes the group mm -hmm. raises the, a new issue that's mm. right oh I thought it was that she thought it was surprising that it was really fast 1230 yeah. and wanted to continue I don't know where she was at but yeah. that was my Thought. That was where it went. Yeah. That was where it went. Yeah. By the way, were they more dreams? Oh, I didn't even know that. Would that well, was where it went. I would have the first thought I had. Would have uh, shifted gears. And oh, trust me. About an hour ago, I was like, "Oh my God, what the hell is happening? Like, we're gonna go over every aspect of this dream," and I gave it up. So I didn't push it. I didn't think yeah, it. Was, it I didn't think well, it was. I didn't think it was, didn't think it was fair because he was having so many insights, and I was like, "Don't be so little, Dean." <laughs> like, no, no. See, yeah. what's good about passing it around now is we can 
perhaps use what we've been discussing. Oh, I imagine there's something similar right. in there for sure. And Thank ask you. for yeah. more precision. Thank you. Right? Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not? Thanks. Thank you. I was having a moment of trying to go away. Okay, one more. Jen. A half hearted. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I just think it's yeah, unfair to say, can we stop Eldar's dream so I can be served, please? Like, <laughs> I don't. You but I think, Julie, anyway. you raised a good well, question. I, yeah, I wanted ahead. to respect, you know, the discussion and the questions that people were having. So, yeah, I and I was more interested in watching the drama I was going through. Mm. I was like, what am no. I going through here? Like, mm. We wasted a good time. Okay, everybody. Why everybody, can't I just accept this? I need your help for a second. I want to catch everything you have to say on camera. So give me 30 seconds to change battery while we just read. Sub. The dream starts in the second paragraph, by oh. the way. Sub. Oh, with the sub. second one. Oh, yeah. Sub. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Trade oh, positions. Did you the logos and the meaning and what the people are saying. Right. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Sounds like a So is this a dream Friday morning or Saturday morning? This or is a dream Friday Wednesday, night? Wednesday? Or no? January 12th is Friday. Friday morning. No, Friday, Thursday night. Okay. Yeah. I was reading and I fell into a dream. Sure. And okay. I was like, oh, I gotta record that. There are two things in your dream that are repeated. And I uh, wonder what you make of it. Uh, can you tell me what it's like that you're experiencing in both of those scenes? The first is, it's like I'm there, but I'm not there. Then the last sentence, although I'm not there, 
like I'm remotely viewing, seeing it from far off. Uh, what kind of state of mind is that? Does it appear, does it appear twice? Are they different? Or this look, look like they're similar or the same. Would you say something about it? At first, I feel like I'm actually in the, the belly up is a concert hall. And I feel like I'm actually at this concert hall, like standing right next to them as I'm standing, sitting next to Eldar. And then I realize I'm not there. I'm like somewhere else in a whole other place. What's that like? Uh, odd and mysterious, but also and wondrous. I'm like, how, how am I seeing this? How am I? How am I seeing the scene? I'm not at the belly up. Like, I know it was a question of mine. I wanted to go see Phil's band play. Uh, it's a Wednesday night. They don't go on until 10:30, 10 o'clock at night. I got to work the next day at eight. It's a bad choice to go down there and leave my kids on that night. So I stayed home, and even though I kept wanting to go, I stayed home, uh, judging that it was the best choice to stay home. So I, I was. I was wondering how I was seeing it, like, and then I just started watching the scene. So, could you go back to the, le the second sentence? Although, although I'm not there, it's like I'm remotely viewing it. Especially the expression, seeing it from far off. What's that like? sense that uh, I was watching. I was curious. Like I was, what's it like to be far off? Uh, distant. And physically distant. I didn't feel distant to the scene. Like I, I felt, for a moment I really thought I was there. Yeah. And then it turned out. So what is it like? The state of mind I am remotely viewing, seeing it from far off. Uh, it, the only word that keeps coming to my mind is powerful. Sure is. Because I'm able to transport my mind. Like, yeah. And I'm able to... Well, what kind of power would you say? you're talking about. Hmm. What kind of power? Um, yeah, so there's power. The power to s see things that are important to me? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. I'm a little bit well, stunned. See, I'm uh, asking, really... The power to be open? I, I mean... See, I'm asking about the dream. In the dream, what is it like when you're you're experiencing that in the dream. I like literally see this box and I'm, I, there's space, all black, right? So, and I see this box and it's the belly up and I'm over here <laughs> and I'm kind of in the dream. I'm I'm wondering, I'm curious, I'm like, what am I seeing? What is going on? What is this scene? What, what am I? See, it's really an interesting state because you know what you're seeing, but you're wondering, right? I, I mean, I guess I was wondering how I was seeing it. Uh, like, how is this happening? See, in terms of the context of the dream, so you keep that in mind. Okay, now you're at that point in the dream, right? As I'm watching the scene, I'm kind of proud of what I'm hearing and seeing, although I'm not there. It's like I'm remotely viewing, seeing it from far off. Mm -hmm. And we want to see if we can get more words on that state. You called it powerful. 
use the image of the black box, right? And you're way off, and you're, you're wondering, what am I seeing? The state of mind to me is clear, clarity. I'm clear. I'm yeah, 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 right. But it's also like, uh, although I'm far off, I'm somehow intimately, I'm like intimately in the scene. I'm right next to them, like in one sense. Like I, again, I, almost, I feel like I'm in two places. Like I'm not there physically. But I am. I'm like I'm right next to. It'd be like me watching Jeff and Eldar talking. Like it's like watching the movie scene. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm yeah, yeah. Kind of uh, at a loss. By the way, so. uh, that state you just described, you're familiar with it, aren't you? Being intimately present and far off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, right. I, I imagine this. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm been around for a long time. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty yeah. pervasive yeah. in many ways. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what would have happened if you were fully there? What's missing by you seeing it remotely? I don't get to interact with the young man. I don't get to be... That blocks the interrelationship, is that right? Yeah. No, say more. Well, the young man's seeking me out to some way to talk to me, and he wants to share his... the effects of whatever I taught him, uh, and how it... He looks bright and shiny and vital and present, and he looks... And that state of mind pulls you away from it, is that right? That's what the di dynamics of the dream show, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? It's a rather curious thing, isn't it? It is curious. And the price you're paying for it is... Uh, black you from... Blocks me from seeing my effect on others. Uh, and 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 uh, being proud of myself. Uh, implications of it in the, in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Blocks you from interrelating. That's future. Yeah. Yes, it does. No. no. Uh, when else have you experienced that same state? Um. I mean, I've experienced it many times in my life as an adult where I actually see a scene happening that I'm not present at. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm able to tell what's happening with a person yeah. and I'm not around them. Right. And I call them up or something and I'm, I'm like, what, what's going on? And they yeah. tell me the scene and I'm like, I saw that pretty yeah. clearly. As a child, it reminds me of... Especially when you bring the bottom one in. Uh, I mean, it reminds you of what? The principal scene. What one was that? It's the one I've explored it many times. And I, 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 I don't remember. I have so you, I've I, had an insight into long division as a child in third grade. Uh -huh. And I get really high energetically. And I start engaging all the other students like, Whoa, can you believe this? Look at this. Like, look at what happens. Look at how hard this is. Like, you can see all the parts to it. And I, like, uh, I see a problem, and the whole thing unfolds itself without thought, without understanding. And I just get <laughs> elated. I mean, I just... And... And then there's a darkness. There's literally like a darkness in my memory that I've, I don't know how it happened. But next thing you know, my, my teacher is sending me to the principal's office. Mm. And like I get to the principal's office and I'm like, what is happening? What is going on? Like, why am I here? I have no comprehension at all. And then the principal and my dad, my dad shows up, which again is rare because he... He's not very involved in my life at this time. He's, like, super engaged as a police officer. 
he works at night and he sleeps during the day. So um, the fact that he's there and involved is rare. And the principal is basically telling him how I'm a troublemaker and how I have no self-control and how I am, um, like, driving the teacher nuts or whatever, you know, and, like, and I'm crying, like, I'm in tears, I'm, like, I don't get what's happening, I don't get what they're saying about me, uh, I feel like I'm in trouble, right, because why is a third grader at the principal's office? You only go to the principal's office when you're in deep trouble, uh, at least that's what I believe at the age. And my dad's sitting there, and he's, like, fidgeting his hands, and he's, like, listening to the guy. And they, somehow they come to this point again. I, like, don't even hear all of the stuff they're saying because I'm, like, sobbing. And But I am watching them at the same time, and they – my dad says these words, and I fucking hate them. It's like, oh, yeah, we'll work on that at home. And we never discuss it ever again. We never discuss it ever again. And so that's what that's the scene it reminds me of is being there. Like I'm like present, but I like go far off in the sadness. And yeah, I, I like the story. You know, the mm-hmm. effect it had on your classmates. Huh. I don't know what effect it had on my classmates. Oh, but you did say you were, go ahead, remember how you Oh, it was like, hey, could you see this? You know, isn't this amazing? Like, how can, isn't this amazing how all these pieces fit together, yeah. how the whole parts unfolds? Yeah, and, you're, you're, sh- you're sharing an insight and yeah. the state of mind of an insight, right? Yeah, I was trying to share with them yeah, yeah. how you could yeah. see like with your mind like I literally I remember it it was like unfolded in my mind like a three dimensional vision the problem like like birthed out of my head like yeah. uh, was that being uh, was that changing the classroom scene I think it got them excited yeah you know I think it got them Got them excited. Yeah. And yeah. I powered through that assignment. Like, I was done. It was like 15, 25 questions, and I was done in like five minutes. And, of course, like, then the rest of the time, there's 25 minutes left, and I'm in third grade. And so I'm chatting up all my neighbors. Mm. Like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm engaging all of them. I mean... <laughs> sure had an effect on the teacher, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It did. It made her angry enough to send me yeah, to well, the why, office. Why do you think she was know. angry, though? Yeah, that's what Why do I think she was angry? Yeah. yeah. If you're to ask me if what I've seen in school is that, and what I've seen myself have to overcome is that sometimes teachers think noise is just a bad thing. And they think that, like, students, you know, talking is a bad thing, rather than, like, listen to the content. I think she was just ignorant and was like, who saw me in my excited state and thought, that doesn't belong in a classroom. That's not something, that's not the way we act in school. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know exactly, because I never actually spoke to her. Yeah. She just said, hey, go to the principal's office. Hey, wait a minute. What would you want to tell her? Now. What would I want to tell her? Yeah. You're a terrible teacher. You have no idea what it means for somebody to learn or understand. And you have no idea what to do with somebody that has understanding. Like, I would tell her right now that, like, she is disconnected from her students. And that she doesn't understand who they are and what motivates them or how to judge them. That she just wants to control the classroom and control their behavior. So is it possible that you may have seen the mathematics in a new way? Totally. Totally. And that's the way they're relating to what, pre- what you could present as a new way of understanding something. 
the third grade mathematics class. There was no discussion that mathematics was a way of training your vision or coming to vision. No. That's for sure. It's all about just like the procedures and daddy, mother, sister, brother for long well, division. Well, wait a minute. What could you have told the principal in front of your father? This is all fun and games, sir. And I appreciate you guys think you're understanding. <laughs> but at the same time, I think you're missing that I have an insight into how, how mathematics affects the mind and how it's a training tool, how it brings one division. Like, you, and see, see, um, but aren't you ignoring the, the possibility that you may have seen a new way to understand something that could have been helpful to the class? Yes. I mean, in my answer now or in the yeah, past? That's, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Um, I did ignore that. I didn't notice that. Uh, but that, I guess, is the nature of ignorance. Uh, the reason I say that, uh, you did describe it as a new discovery for yourself and you're excited about it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you want to tell the principal then? That there is your father? <laughs> that I have a better vision than the teacher does about mathematics or that problem and I can share with others how to see it this way. Hmm. What do you think that would do? I think it would piss them off. I think they'd be like, who is this third grader to tell me who's been in education for however many years what I'm, what is learning and what is mathematics? Yeah, that's true. But what would it do for you to say it? What would it do for me to say it? Yeah. It would snap me out of my tears and it would advocate for myself what I was really doing, yeah. you know, and show me that I have an ability to see the math in a different way. No. No. So. That's important, isn't it? Yeah. It's the difference between why are we doing this shit and yeah, this is why I'm doing this. Yeah. And it's a tremendous difference, yeah. like a tremendous difference. Yeah. It's, it actually gives the subject meaning rather than trying to figure out what's the maximum area of a pen I can make for yeah. chickens. Uh, so if you find it interesting that the effect of that state of mind blocks you from being present when you are getting approval and recognition. Yeah. But it pulls yeah. you away from all of that. Yeah, I can't stay there and yeah. I'm not there at the scene and yeah. be present. Yeah. Because? Therefore, it, it cuts it off. Mm -hmm. Right? The chance of maybe developing it further mm -hmm. cuts it off. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Is it always is it is it important to reflect back on the scene in the childhood with the wisdom of today? Right? Always. You, right. See, the the thing about the past scene is, what is it that makes him know he has something of value? Oh well. I mean that, that scene. and see, but see, the teacher doesn't recognize that he has something of value, yeah. and it's not until now, it's not until reflecting on it as an adult that he sees that he had something of value. Well, but I thought Ford, he saw it as a discovery, even well, a new way of seeing the mathematics, the whole depart, long division, yada yada. I thought that was different from the way it had been presented to you that it was. The state of you call it vision. I assume that what, it was what, different. Mm -hmm. Not that you said that. What did you do with? Can, wait, wait, wait. I'm asking I something. Mathematics, as instructed to me up to that point, was about just steps. Okay. It was Next just step. about following steps. And how does that contrast with what you saw? 
that it was about like a, a vision. That's a that's a different vision. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same well, like it was a way it brought it was a seeing. Uh -huh. It was like unfolding of understanding. Yeah. And like, right. And, and with, without okay. without like effort. Mm-hmm. I didn't try. Mm -hmm. I hadn't, there was no I didn't have to like think how do I do this? No. It just unfolded itself completely to me. Could it be taught? Do you, do you teach it? Mm. I, I'm just curious. Do I teach it in my classroom? Yeah. Or well I mean I discuss know. that state of mind in my classroom uh -huh. and mm -hmm. how how it brings together all the pieces as a whole, and as we can, and that we can see. Does that um, work? Does does it get learned? Can it be learned? Can it be learned? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it can be learned. Well, I don't know I if it can sure be taught. Was teaching a method. Hence the Mino. That's right. So, it can be learned, but not taught. I, I think it can be learned, but I can't. Like, it's hard to really. I mean, I That's I right. try to help students understand it by talking about the conditions that bring about insight and the things that we can mm. do to help us come to insight in a math mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. I do discuss that in mm -hmm. my classroom. Mm -hmm. I discuss how to wonder about the question and the words and how to ask questions to mm. bring out insights. Mm. So, but I don't, I can't necessarily... But do they cork off, so to speak? <laughs> students in my class start to enter high states and it gets them distracted and then and then in the past I would get distracted with them I had a dream that showed me how I would distract them and now I don't do that I stay on task hmm. I stay on um, I bring them back in I rear them back into the the subject because once they start to get once their minds start opening up they don't know how to deal with it either they start to get distracted they start they start to like do what I did as a child, start talking to other people in one sense. So, mm -hmm. which is appropriate for certain times in the classroom, but not when I'm like guiding instruction. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's just I wondered whether you're whether you were like an infant Chopin or yeah. something. That yeah. was my curiosity, yeah. and whether if you had really explained. See, I'm putting a level of interpretation on, which is another way of saying. Thank you very much for pursuing it with me. I don't know what to do with what you just told me. I had another scene as a, I had another scene of that when I was in high school. I had another second scene where I was studying trigonometry, and I saw the pieces of trigonometry come together, and I was like, whoa, if this is true, then, and then all these other things came to me. And I thought I was like a fucking genius. I was like, oh my god, I'm a genius. Like, I see all this stuff. And then I like turned the pages. And it was in the book, you know, like the things, yeah. well, I love that. which in one sense, I didn't think I wasn't smart anymore, but I was like, oh, it's, it's been discovered. Ah, so like, yeah. It's been discovered. So like I saw from the beginning principles, the next two chapters of the mathematics before, hmm. I, before yeah. I studied it. Yeah. So in that sense. It seems to me, Josh, it's an opportunity right where you got to, uh, responding to Barbara for a, a couple of things. Um, and I'd be interested in knowing what you think about them. One is uh, <laughs> trying a little uh, different method in the class, dropping the teacher role and going into a Socratic seminar oh. that method. Mm -hmm. Because that puts the power on them. You know, when you put them in a circle and they, they work on a text or a math problem together, and then if someone is having a finitai about something, you know, they lighten up about that they're within they're within a context where they can share that with each other without having a teacher have to keep that structure in the class going. Let me just make clear, I don't teach like by lecturing. I ask questions. Okay, but so. what is it that you, okay, so on that point, what is it that you want to pull them back into the structure of the class on then? Is the continual asking, you're asking them of questions, that's the structure? Yeah, I think what you're bringing up is I can allow them to ask more questions. Yeah, like, like, um, well, this, they do this, ask questions. It's an open discussion. Or share with each other what they're seeing, and this gets to my second point. And, and again, you, you can mm -hmm. say thumbs up, thumbs down to it, but it seems to me that the, the nice thing about putting a little time, say 20, 30 minutes for Socratic seminar in the class, where you got eight to ten kids and around in circles, right, and they can share with each other and teach when they do open up to, right, 
the nice thing about that, the second point I would see is that I think it would be very, if I were in your position, I would be, I would find it very healing um, to allow them to do that because in a way it's, it's, it's going back to your past scene and changing the tape. You'd be allowing them to do what your teacher should have allowed you to do yeah, in your yeah. class. Well, Share with your students, right. protect in a way, and let them have that uh, opening of mind with each other and mm -hmm. discover for themselves how to share that with their classmates. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question. I mean, wait, 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 I want right. to... Mm -hmm. But those are the two things I saw. They may not be the way you want to go. I'm just curious how you want to... How you, do you no, I think that's a great idea. I just run into the problem that students are with... They don't... As, unless you have, like, a very special group of students, I don't really... I guess it's maybe my limitation. It could be a sign of the problem scene, but I don't see them leading healthy discussion, and I don't see and I don't see them staying on task. Like they, it's not. It's a like David would say. There's a culture of distraction, and maybe I'm just a sucker to it. But mm -hmm. like I have to work so much to keep them on task in class because they're so easily into just socializing or. Is Snapchat that, or no, is it possible that part of the reason anymore. that they are so distracted is that they're bored with the model that's being used in the class? I've wondered this, yeah. I use lots of different models, but yeah, I wonder this. I'm and if they had a chance to participate more actively with each other, they might not be so distracted. Hey, I think this is a great challenge. I think it's a great challenge, yeah. I mean, I. I Part of me is like, it's not gonna fucking happen. Ah! I mean, not like me. Like, I not that I won't try it, but I just don't. But I just, it's so hard to, like, I, I I state the expectations and what we should do in a class, and I try to model it. But then there's just a lot of apathy, and uh, maybe that's me giving up. And I appreciate you challenging me on that. No. Well, the only reason I like Socratic Seminar is, is because it goes straight at that apathy. Uh, the apathy drops as soon as a person has voice. But are we doing that, wait a minute, are we doing the dream or are we yeah. doing something else? Yeah. I have a couple of questions Look, regarding the, fair, the dream. The oh, okay. Get back in the dream. That's what I was thinking. What is the issue that you're facing in the dream um. that you effectively block? with that state of mind. It's the issue I'm facing in the dream. Not seeing, uh, not being able to be present with the goodness that's happening. I mean... It, yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, try again. Um, Literally, we're in the dream. Literally, Stay what's the issue? The, the young man says, ah, I really wanted to see him. Phil says, oh yeah, why so? He says, he really taught me a way of reflecting and a way of learning and using my mind that opened me up on how to think for myself. As I'm watching this scene, I'm kind of proud of what I'm hearing and seeing. Although I'm not there, it's like I'm remotely viewing it. So answer the question, right? This state of mind affects of you, blocks you from what? Being there? What does that mean? You're quite right. What does that mean? Uh, it reflects me from being... It reflects me from being present with the student. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you're using the word reflects? Right? Try again. Yeah. I'm empty, so if you guys would like to provide me with some wisdom. Come then on, come on. I, I try, tell me to try again, I'm going to get the same answer. I don't understand how to proceed any further. So 
Like, do you want me to make something up that I don't have so I can appear like I know something that I don't? Because that's not a rule of the Mino dialogue. Like, you gave an answer earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What would it be like if you were to be with the student in that in that moment? Uh, it would probably make me. I don't know. I mean, I'd be happy. That's for sure. I'd be happy. And, but at the same time, I'd be uncomfortable. See, we're on the, we are now in the dream and in your past scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's okay. something going on there that is critical also to what happened when you were in the third grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. What is it they were not willing to do in those days? In those days? Yeah. With the principal and your father and teacher. Talk to me? About what? About what I was going through? About your discoveries and your yeah. understanding mm -hmm. of mathematics? They were not, oh. So I'm not able to talk to him about what his learning was? Or how he learned to think for himself? Oh, that's there. See, that's mm -hmm. there. Put that aside. You got mm -hmm. that. Okay. Uh, um, by the way, is uh, um, if you were present there at that time, what would he be showing you or sharing with you? What, what is it that he's doing that he wants you present for? I think he wants to share his growth. I think under he, your what? Well, under, under my your, teaching, yeah. He wants to share the effect that my teaching had on him. Oh. He wants you to recognize that, huh? Yeah. By the way, were they able to recognize in that principal's no. office? No, they weren't. Has your father ever recognized that you are <laughs> in this class of beings that can do this? No, in fact, I had a very interesting experience with him recently. Oh. Uh, I get water from this place, and the man that runs the place is a practicing Tibetan Buddhist. And I've had many discussions with this man. And now when I show up, he gives me free water mm -hmm. because of the discussions that I've let like I've taken him through his own mind and he's seen deeper levels of meaning within himself mm -hmm. and when we went in there my dad just shut down mm -hmm. and like was not open to anything the guy was going to share with him. Well, well, what is it he's blocking to see then? Um, my ability to help people come to understand uh, it's like he's he's super proud of it. He always says, "Oh, I met so and so at the golf course. I mm -hmm. met so and so, and they all say great things about you." But he can't actually get into it. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. right, 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 right. I think we language. jumped over something then. Okay. Uh, yeah. It deals with the problem of recognition, doesn't it? The, the dream and the past scene? Both, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. recognizing yeah. somebody's... They can't recognize something. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does your state of mind block you from being present when someone wants to recognize what you've done? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it does. Because look what happened to you in that three-year-old scene. You ended up crying. They oh, put yeah. you through hell. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't. Whatever they were saying about me was in no way what I thought was real. Yeah, that's right. You know? yeah. And I, I, I couldn't understand. I was like, where is this coming from? Like, yeah. I am in, how am I a troublemaker? Like, I was just doing math. <laughs> like, yeah. I was just excited, like. Yeah. And now you're engaged also with a Tibetan dude who's. 
Uh -huh. Recognizing. Oh yeah. What does that do to you? Um, it inspires me. It inspires mm -hmm. me. See? You know, it inspires me greatly actually. Right. Like he's invited me to come give talks at his water store because it's like a water health store. Yeah. I mean, from the very first day he met me actually, he's like, so when are you gonna come? talk at my store mm -hmm. and uh, so it inspires me oh. yeah and makes me feel feel greatly uncomfortable at the same time yeah well that like, maybe because of that feeling stage still lingers I feel like Eldar you know like yeah. I don't want to like brag or be like yeah, yeah you know like I don't want to yeah. have this <laughs> I don't yeah. want to have this yeah. Uh, yeah. and he told me he was like I was he's like I was listening to these podcasts and on alchemy and it made me realize I need to change my entire way of thinking and I need to get a teacher and I need you to be my teacher and I'm like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> like get well, you back out of it um yeah totally why is that uh, I don't know what I would teach him <laughs> like in the moment I didn't in the moment I didn't know yeah. what I would teach him yeah. yeah yeah that's what he likes about your teacher yeah that I have nothing to teach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that point earlier? To him? No, no, in, while we're talking here about... That I have nothing to teach? No, but they can learn from me. Yeah. 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 I don't. Ultimately, I, I don't think I have, in one sense, something to teach because I want them... It's already going on in their minds. And I want them to discover the nature of their mind already. Yeah. Like, like I don't need to implant within them you skills or to. skills or abilities. It's already there. Like you want them to recognize their mind, and especially the highest yeah. intellect and providence. Which like, you enjoyed seeing when you were three years old through mathematics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like beauty itself. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, You're lucky not to have anything to teach. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. True. It's a burden if you got something to do. <laughs> no, it's not a burden. I mean, it's not a burden to practice what I practice with them. That's yeah. for sure. Because you're not teaching. Um, not in the classic sense. Of course. But I am teaching in another sense, like helping somebody to come to understanding. Themselves. Themselves, yeah. And appreciate their own mind. Yeah. So what could you have said to your principal and father in the classroom in that scene when you were in third grade? Uh, <laughs> guys want to see how to do some math? <laughs> in the right way? <laughs> yeah. You want to see how you can understand this stuff? And you want to see how you can come, how it can bring you to vision? Take a seat, boys. Thank you. <laughs> Right. I wrote something out. It was, uh, uh, are we here into learning here? Uh, like, are we supposed to, uh, what did you say, uh, use my mind? And, uh, and that I was using my mind and I saw math in a different way. So isn't that what we're supposed to be doing here? Oh, pardon me, what was your question? I didn't hear it. I was just, I was... Rephrasing what Jeff and uh, Josh could say to the teacher and mother and, or father and principal. Mm. Yeah, I didn't and, hear it. I thought maybe. It oh, I said it. that he could have raised and said, "I thought we were into learning here, and I thought we were uh, using. We were supposed to use our minds, and I was using my mind to see this problem, and I really enjoyed it and was sharing with it other with other people. <laughs> so, isn't that what we're supposed to be here for?" Yeah. Could ask them also to use their minds in the moment rather than just talk mm -hmm. about me like I was a fucking devil child. Mm -hmm. You mean they were remote? Yeah. Well, in one sense, yeah. yeah. Totally. And they did not use their minds. Not, n never once did they try to actually discover. No. They had the answers already. Yep. You know? Yeah. Hi. And and you mentioned your father uh, would talk about you, but not directly. He will not actually engage me to learn anything. And how, what like, is that? How is 
how is that similar to the remote viewing? Oh, he's a distant man. He's a distant, disconnected person. And in many ways, he is, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's definitely removed. <clears throat> he's removed as a person, you know. He's got that Vietnam vet far That's off. That's the next paragraph. Like, oh, yeah. And I got that look from him. Like that ominous look, like I'm going to kick your ass. Like, he looked at, I remember him very clearly in the scene looking at me like, you little shit, I'm going to kick your ass. And, and then we went home and I was scared of him and <laughs> didn't well, want to talk to him. I had a qu another question. Well, you didn't want to talk to him or he didn't want to talk to you? He actually came in later and was like, are you hungry? And was like, I guess trying to be compassionate. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, like, you want to beat me up? <laughs> like, like, you're gonna, you're gonna kick my ass. <laughs> like, I don't want to be around you. Um, like that, I was at fault because he was feeling pretty inadequate as a dad in that moment. Like, he was feeling. John set his hand up. Uh, I had a question. Um, now that you're taking over the teacher role, if someone was to have an, uh, uh, an experience like you, how would you handle? Oh, I have had this already. Well, there you go. And uh -huh. how did you handle it? I get them to talk about their experience and draw so, out the meaning of it. So, can that, just them, that, just that Ask them questions like, and what's this do to you now? And what's that like? And mm -hmm. how does this affect you? And so. so, just having that little insight as a child, you're able to express something that you went through with somebody else that's going to go through. Mm -hmm. And you're able to help them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Through your experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a blessing for mm -hmm. some some people that you're going to meet. Thank the good gods <laughs> for their providential I, vision. I have another question. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking that he should be. I thought it was interesting. The line, but then in the vision, I wondered and asked myself, is that really true? <coughs> what did you come to? Where you come to? Is this the first scene that I saw? Did I see this, or is this the first thing that I saw? In the dream, it was like um, the two scenes are so opposed to each other. The boy in the first scene, I mean, mm -hmm. I can't say looked enlightened because that's just how, what does enlightenment look like. But he looked like he was beaming. Like, and so happy to have the ability that he had. And in the second lean scene, he looks so deadly. Mm -hmm. And so I just like, I, w I was like, is that real? Like, I, I was just wondering if it was real or not, like if he was both, you know, like, could he have been both? Or was the second one mm -hmm. a projection? Or, you know, did I, you know, was I, was I really seeing that? And he did in the second scene, he looked deadly. So are you, in a sense, doing what you said in the first paragraph about wondering about how Socrates names these moments? Were you naming, you, was your dream giving you some moments to name and label? Like, yeah. That's what you went to sleep with. I thought that was interesting. So because you're still asking yourself about that, whether it's really true. Or I'd ask how, have, when you talked about it, you said you were reading the Mino and then you just suddenly dropped off to sleep. Yeah. How is, how is this exploration, as you see it, relate to that first paragraph then? I think the Mino is all about learning. I know it's called like on excellence or on virtue, but I think it should have another title. In fact, uh, or it should be like on excellence of learning. And so I'm rereading it to look for instances of Mino learning and Mino going through a learning process. And Socrates is, in some ways, he is directly instructing them. Like he talks about the rules, he talks about dialogue and like how to, how to proceed. And he names Mino's 
states, you know, in that, and you, it's like, well, if you want to proceed through this heuristic kind of reasoning, and I would normally say this, but we're friends with one another, so this is how we proceed through a dialogue. You take what the other person says, the premises, only the premises that the other person knows. I guess my question was very broad. Um, I was looking at it and seeing that I'm reading it, and how many times do you recall saying, I'm seeing how he, and I'm seeing... Oh, many times, yeah. ...in that paragraph? Mm -hmm. Many times. I didn't count, but many times. And what is it exactly that you are seeing? I'm seeing what? How he is employing those rules throughout the dialogue. Mm -hmm. How similar is that language when you talked about your seeing the map at well, the very, third gate? Yeah, yeah, very. Taking the principles and seeing the implications of them. Mm -hmm. And how about the next one? I'm seeing examples of this, remembering exact moments. And I'm also seeing of how Socrates relates to Mino when he, when there's no breaks in his rules. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that scene, that kind of scene in relationship to what you saw with your map? I'm a, I'm a little stuck at how to answer that in the sense of... Um, oh, I guess this was it later on. I mean, yeah. it's pretty amazing to me how Socrates relates to Mino and gets him to explore what is virtue. And all of Mino's blocks come up. Like, and thank you very much. And he, he even says, like, at certain points, like, what, where he's stuck at. And then, like, I, I'm trying to assess how Socrates addresses him being stuck. And how he is, that's a little separate than the rules of dialogue, but I'm trying, like, how does Socrates solve not solve, I don't like that answer. How does Socrates help Mino get past his block in seeing? Because he comes to certain stages and he can't go any further. And Socrates isn't like, well, I guess you're stuck, so let's go home now. He uh, continues, he uses skillful means. He, like, what is the means he's using to get him to open up, to go further in the question? But you're seeing. So, uh, doesn't Socrates give him an assignment at the end? Yeah, he wants him to convince Anitos of what he came to believe. Pardon? He wants him to convince Anitos what he came to believe. What is it he came to believe? That's a good question. My answer, you've given me this question for like 15 years now, and so <laughs> I've been wondering about it. Uh, I think it's that he came to believe that we can learn about things we don't know, and that it's that you should proceed so through not knowing. This is a, this is a reading question. Mm -hmm. In, after Anitas leaves, Socrates mm -hmm. and Mino go through a recollection of what went on. Mm -hmm. And if you pinpoint when Mino is surprised about several things and collect them together, okay. may not that be the very thing that he has come to believe? through the discussion that he heard and the reflection on it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. He it also might be worth identifying those because that's what he's being instructed to persuade any so of. Well, he does say it would make him gentler. Yeah. And, and a friend. And a friend, okay. yeah. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been great seeing you. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta go. So we're mm, back here you. Monday. We could do this again tomorrow. Monday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Monday morning. Tell us Monday's yeah. good. Car shop. Monday's What's today? good. This is Saturday. 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 I don't mind coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Let me check with uh, <laughs> the person who Boss. postpones things. I mean, excuse me. I mean, the. It's like uh, we're going back in time, yeah. You're more time than machine. welcome we're to going. return tomorrow if you want. What's up? Yeah. I'm headed out tonight. Tonight we'll be headed. Ah, back to the north. Uh, by way of some places. All right. Okay. So yes, if you would tell, ask Nancy. The very best. Always for. The thank very you very best. much. My gratitude. Good. Is, uh, Good.
Oh, back your shirt. The tears. You gotta go by your the tears and the. Let's grab them. I'm gonna go see more. Let's go. 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 Let's go.